Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Florian, good to see you. So guys, there's something we need to talk about and this popped up a few times, not as regularly as you might think, but it did pop up a few times. So today we're gonna to talk about the Fujifilm XS10 and the Fujifilm X-T4 I currently record myself with about the IBIS. So what I figured out, and I had this a few times, that the IBIS now and then on a Fujifilm XS10 seems to be a bit chunky or wobbly, if this makes sense. Like as you can see here on this um, short clip, I'm literally just staying at the traffic light, hold the camera in front of me, and the IBIS like literally wobbles around and try to balance itself. This happened like a few times for no reason. I didn't have this problem yet with the Fujifilm X-T4. So also when you see the next clip, when I punt from a left to the right, you can see that the IBIS tries to fight basically the movement, which didn't happen with the X-T4 either. So I basically done a very simple test for, with the Fujifilm X-T4 and the XS10 side by side, IBIS off, IBIS on, static shot, and then I done the same movements as you've seen earlier already, and then I done a vlogging test as well to give you an idea how both IBISes compare to each other. Right now, if the X-T4 is rated with around six and a half stops, and uh, Fujifilm Access 10 is rated up to six stops of image stabilization. Also, I like to mention that both camera setups been identical. So basically, I shot both cameras with the 18 to 55, 2.8 to 4. I set the aperture to f4, ISO 640, and the shutter speed of 48th of a second for both cameras. And the IBIS been on, and the lens stabilization was on as well because you can't switch them independently off. So guys, now we have seen the XS10 and the X-T4 separately, side by side, when the IBIS was on and the lens OIS was on and switched off. And as you can tell, when it's zoomed out to 18mm, it is a bit easier to handheld it steady than it when it's zoomed into 55mm. However, guys, I just think that half a stop less of stabilization from a Fujifilm XS10 doesn't make a huge impact. However, it comes also down to how you walk, how heavy you walk, how steady you can hold the camera with your arm. Are you doing the ninja walk if you film something or a lot of things comes down to this as well. And keeping in mind, my backyard isn't even or flat the ground either. So it was a bit up and down when I done a vlogging test. Anyway, guys, let's dive into the X-T4 compared to the XS10 side by side and then we're gonna regroup and see what we think when we have seen the Fujifilm X-T4 compared to the XS10. go guys now we have seen a Fujifilm XS10 stabilized compare or next to the Fujifilm X-T4 stabilized and then we've done the same move like left to right pun to see if there's any crazy shift in the uh, corners and quite frankly guys so far what I have seen today after this test I don't think that you need to worry about half a stop of image stabilization from the IBIS 
I didn't do the test with an unstabilized lens because I wanted to see how the IVIS actually works together with their Fuji film 18 to 55 stabilized lens, what they're selling as their kit lens. I might do a test with an unstabilized lens later on in a couple of weeks after I used the X-T4 a bit more as well. However, so far what I have seen, you don't need to worry about the IBIS and of course there might be situations when the IBIS shifts a bit or you can have this related move from left to right because the IBIS tries to catch up and if you know those little tweaks, you can walk around them, you just punt a bit longer and you get basically the same clip as you wanted to. If you know your IBIS shift sometimes and you can record the whole clip again, you're just gonna record it again. However, technology is technology and there might be always little flaws in our technology. But so far, I think there is no big difference between half a stop more or less image stabilization. And then also it depends on how you walk as I mentioned or how steady your hands are in general. I'm not a really steady person so I always got a bit of shake and this sounds really horrible right now but it is also down to your own hands. How steady can you hold the camera in, in your hands or do you do the three point um, tips where you hold your camera more steady than without do you do the ninja walk so guys i hope this little comparison today was of help for you and if it was i would appreciate if you could hit the thumbs up button like comment subscribe let me know what you think and with that said guys i'm gonna see you in the next one cheers guys Bye.